Hey there, my name is Greg. Um, I'm in the process of getting my pool up and running on this fine, long weekend. Um, the issue I've been having uh, is that our pool heater, though it is making all the right noises, uh, is not actually firing up. And so uh, I've started taking off the case. This is a Hayward 250 FDN. Um, I have brought out uh, the shop vac and I've started just clearing the area. Um, and the advice I got uh, from various folks on the internet was uh, to check out whether the gas manifold, which is this piece down here, that uh, sends gas into the uh, ignition system at the bottom, whether those manifolds themselves might possibly uh, have cobwebs inside of them. And so, each of the pieces off these all come out of the manifold down here uh, I've taken each one of them off four of the five of the manifolds that I have have cobwebs inside of them this one's nice this is the one that's nice and clean um, but you can see that the other ones have guck inside of them cobwebs um, what people are told, saying on the internet is that Spiders really like getting inside of these things. Um, and so you can see here again that uh, there's cobwebs all in there. So what I'm going to do is take a paper clip or a, a metal wire. I'm going to put it in there and clean the gunk out. Um, I've taken a wire, just pulled a uh, old telephone wire actually that I had sitting down in the basement. It's a nice long one, but I'm sticking it through the hole getting the spider webs out of the um, nozzle. You can see now that I've done this for all five of them, um, but it's nice and clean now. You can see right on through through uh, the hole there. And um, next piece will be to take this wire also and put it into the holes that are at the back of the, um, the manifold here. So I'm gonna look at each of the five holes they're back here, put the wire in, move it around, try and push it up, up as far as it'll go um, for each of the five. And then what I'm also going to do is just grab the shop vac and, um, and try and suck some of the air out of there. Now, of course, I've got the gas turned off both um, here. Uh, I'll have it turned off here uh, on this switch. And I will also have it turned off over here um, on the gas line itself. Perpendicular is off. Parallel is on, um, and so uh, that's what I'm doing now. So I'm now tightening the last of the injection nuts here. I have taken all of them off. I have uh, cleaned them out using a wire, and uh, I put the wire also up the pipe, the black manifold pipe. Um, I then took a shop vac and ran that along each of the holes, both in the back of the manifold as well as in the injector box, um, just to see if I can get any other kind of debris out of there. So I'm hoping now that with all of this uh, cleaned out and good to go, that firing up the heater, uh, the inject or the uh, igniter should just work. I'm going to retighten this pipe right here using my handy dandy pipe wrench and then that will, in so doing, bring this manifold back and connect it in with the box here so that each of these um, brass fittings will go into each of these holes. I will then put the um, screws back on, holding this whole thing in, turn all the pipes back on, and watch the uh, furnace fire up. All right, so now is the, uh, the time. I have got the gas turned back on. The pump is now running at uh, 3,000 RPM, so we now have um, enough pressure. The, uh, the 
valve here is reopened so that we're ready to go and um, now we simply tell the system we go in and go from standby to pool you can see here showing the water is 65 degrees if I push the up button it tells you that it wants to go to 79 degrees Fahrenheit here's some clicking going on in the system here comes the blower starting up make sure the vents are clear at least that's my understanding of what it does it runs for close to 30 seconds or so and then uh, you'll hear clicking there'll be a smell of gas and then it light up and there goes the woomph that we were waiting for we have heat oh yeah we have heat sweet and now it's time to enjoy our pool well after several hours of heating but hey at 65 degrees fahrenheit that's uh that's lake weather that's lake temperature we could swim in that anyway hope that this is helpful to some of you i'm going to put the panels back on now and um just wait for the pool to warm itself up <laughs>